Peaky Blinders is a British crime drama television series created by Stephen Knight, set in Birmingham, England. It follows the exploits of the Peaky Blinders crime gang in the direct aftermath of the First World War. The fictional gang is loosely based on a real urban youth gang of the same name who were active in the city from the 1880s to the 1910s. Apart from the criminal activities and vulgar scenes, this show has loads of business lessons which can be very useful to aspiring entrepreneurs. 1. No matter what you plan, plan them well. Did you notice the lead character Thomas Shelby is always calm? He won't even jerk when an unexpected moment comes in because he is a master in planning. When you plan something well, there's no need to rush. He visualizes each and every part of his plan, that's Fucking the way he corrects himself or right. creates a backup plan. Now, when I came in here, Mr. Solomons, I stopped to tie my shoelace. Isn't that a fact, Ollie? I stopped to tie my shoelace. <clears throat> and while I was doing it, I laid a hand grenade on one of your barrels. Sometimes our best intentions do not go according to plan, and it's okay to learn another element of planning. You should plan out your business strategies well, including your productions, marketing, distribution, profits, growth, goodwill, investments, and customer benefits. 2. You have to be different to be noticed. One of the reasons why I think the show Peaky Blinders hits many people's hearts is because they are different from us. Their world, their culture, their clothing, their haircuts, their morals and principles. Their differences make them damn attractive. When something or someone is or acts different from societal norms, they are easily noticed and remembered by other people. Something about your business should be different from your competitors. This may be packaging style, the quality of the product or the service of your business, deals and offers for the customers. It may be anything, but it should be different. And most importantly, that difference should have the value to stand out from the market. Changing product color also makes a difference, but that's not going to make a big impact. Number 3. Don't expose your weapons publicly. If a word comes out from your lips, it will go around the world. That may become a weapon for your haters and competitors. There are seven things we should always be quiet about. In business, zip your mouth about the profit and net worth, marketing strategies, rare ingredients which make your product so special, future plans, in general, family issues, things you're afraid of, and weaknesses. Love life. Don't reveal too much or any unnecessary information. They won't go to write a biography about you to know your entire story. Maybe some people may impress, but most of them will feel jealous of you. Well, you beat us to it. Did I? I was trying to nab a filly for my stud. Sorry? Thomas Shelby from where? From Birmingham. Goodness. No, not much. Hey, Carlton. I breed racehorses and train them. What is it you do? I rarely answer questions. That's what I'll do. Tommy! Come on, hurry up! Number four. Tie up with the powerful team. Behind Tommy Shelby, there are two big boys. That's the reason for Thomas's braveness. Thomas Shelby uses his family members to do his chores and reach his goals. He has a powerful team that helps him to actualize his vision. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. If you try to always do everything in your business, it will take the most time. As a business owner, you have to think mostly about how to take your business to the next level. Diversify your work, hire people or go to freelancers. The mindsets, skills, and talent of your team members will help you to grow your business consistently. Educate them well enough. Take special care of the loyal people. Number 5. You can change what you do, but you can't change what you want. You can change what you do, but you can't change what you want. Someone may have million-dollar ideas and perfect planning, but because of his lower confidence or a few earlier failures, he is still living an ordinary life. That guy surely will regret every moment in life. Work on your dreams and ideas consistently. Once we decide what we want, it must be harder to change our mind. That's called passion, purpose. Start the first step toward your dream business. If something is important to you and you wanted to do it, eventually just do it and correct the course along the way. Give it a try, use weekends, use your free time. There is no success and failure, we use it all toward mastery and new experience. If you encounter something strange on your path, change the strategies, change the way you are working, change those sleepy employees. Never change your goal and targets. Number life six, never settle for less. You want a simple life? 
Do I look like a man who wants a simple life, eh? Shelby's extreme confidence and mindset leads them to turn their dreams into reality. They don't settle for less. They set their dreams on a higher level and don't care of the obstacles or whoever stops. They just draw up the blueprint and go together to achieve their dreams. The world has been updating every second, so if your business can't run with that and adapt to the latest trends, sorry to say, the business will wipe out from the market. Set targets on a higher level. Not blind targets. If last month's gain was $2,000 as profit, go for $2,500, after $2,500, plan and work for $3,000, and improve consistently. Oh, right, for Christ's sake, why? Hey! Why? Why, because we fucking can! Because we fucking can, and if we can, we do! 7. Use your enemies. Know about your competitors very well, shake their hands, and use them for your own use. Well, it depends on your talent. I admire you, Mr. Kimber. You started with nothing and built a legitimate business. It would be an honor to work with you, Mr. Kimber. Also, don't be afraid to oppose them, but only if needed. And you have the right weapon. Get us! Eight, have everything under control. Lead your business like a war leader and have everything under control. Know to whom you can give the right job and who can do the work perfectly. Which lesson have you got from this show? Like and share this video. By order of the Pinky Blind.